It marks one year since police say Shannon Gilday broke into the home of former state lawmaker Wesley Morgan and shot and killed his daughter Jordan Morgan. The 32 year old has been described as the light of the family who wanted to make a difference in the lives of others. Today Jordan's mother is speaking exclusively with ABC 36's Justin Walker who joins us live tonight from the Madison County Detention Center with more. Justin. Morgan's accused killer Shannon Gilday is due back in court March 17th. But today marks a very somber anniversary for Jordan Morgan's family. You won't find another gravesite at the Richmond Cemetery with a Taylor Swift album or jewelry. I'm always finding all kinds of, of little things that somebody's come by and, and put there, and I leave them. I just leave them. Little signs of just how much 32-year-old Jordan Morgan is missed and loved following her tragic death. Her mother, Lisa Foster, saying her daughter would never hurt a fly. Foster visiting her daughter's gravesite on the one year anniversary of her death. Only if you're a parent that's lost a child. There, there's no words that you could tell how that feels. You have to be that parent. Police say on February 22nd, 2022, Gilday broke into the home of Wesley Morgan. Gilday shot and killed Jordan before exchanging gunfire with Wesley and fleeing. Foster recalls the morning she received the phone call no parent wants to get. Uh, Wesley, he was on there and he just said, there's been an invasion and I think Jordan's dead. My husband was coming in from the gym. We got in the car and we ran up to the house and uh, there was an ambulance there. So I thought maybe she was in the ambulance. <laughs> so I was hollering for the police called down and then the coroner came out. It, but they wouldn't let me in the house because I wanted to go up and see her. Gilday was caught days later. He remains in custody at the Madison County Detention Center. Foster admits the road has been long and hard, but she's putting her energy towards something positive. She's currently helping other women form a nonprofit aimed at helping human trafficking victims. She says Jordan's death has also touched countless others. The thing that I noticed the most is her death put a reality into life. Uh, I think it's brought a lot of people closer to the Lord, you know, because now they realize that uh, death is real. Foster says she visits the gravesite as much as her heart allows, but says she knows her daughter is in a better place. Where her body's at, but her spirit is with the Lord. Now, earlier this week, Jordan Morgan's father, Wesley Morgan, filed a lawsuit suing Gilday for injuries. He and another daughter sustained in that shooting, as well as for the wrongful death of Jordan. Now, Shannon Gilday's mother, Katie Gilday, is also named in that lawsuit. Live in Richmond, Justin Walker, ABC 36 News.